couple of years ago, my team and I were tasked with machining one of the most critical assemblies of the new Columbia-class submarine. Now, I'm not talking about a couple thousand dollar chunk of billet. I'm talking about a 14 foot diameter, $12 million Monel forging with a finished part price of around $50 million. With a piece of raw material like that, you can't just have a little oops and buy another piece of stock. There was only one foundry on earth that we could buy it from, and the lead time was a little over two years. The finished price of this one assembly was right around $300 million, and our team was making all the parts. This meant that if everything didn't fit together perfectly at assembly, they would know who to blame. Think for a second about the most expensive thing that you've ever made or worked on. Was it a $900 casting? A $200,000 car? A $3 million boat? How did you feel while you were working on it? Were you worried about making a mistake and ruining the finished product? If so, that was a healthy fear. It's always kind of nerve wracking when you're working on something expensive. One mistake can turn a $10,000 chunk of material into worthless garbage. Now me and my team were no strangers to making insane parts for some awesome applications. We'd worked together on projects including the electromagnetic railgun which fires a projectile at Mach 7, hypersonic glide body missiles that fly over Mach 17, next generation laser weapons mounted to ships and satellites, nuclear reactors for space, next generation fighters, drones like the Reaper and Predator, future rocket tech, you name it. After a while, you don't even blink when someone throws a $10,000 piece of white sapphire on your desk and ask you to water jet it. Just another day. But with a price tag in the hundreds of millions of dollars and zero margin for error, this particular job made us a little nervous. Monel wasn't a material that we ran a lot of and this group of parts was going to take us several months to machine. We did a lot of research including visiting the Titans of CNC Aerospace Academy and videos that Titan himself had done on machining Monel. This was also the first time that we decided to use Kenametal inserts at this company because Titan and others swore by them for tool like in these materials. And those inserts are still being used on that job to this day. You might be making aluminum washers and a beast part like this may not seem relevant to you today, but tomorrow, who knows what you're going to be making. As you gain an experience and reputation, the parts you make are going to get more complex and more expensive every day. You have to hone yourselves and your skills on the small stuff so that you're ready when you get to the big stuff. Nobody starts their career making million dollar parts and there's a reason for that. Everyone has scrapped a part and it's way better to learn some of these lessons on a $2 chunk of aluminum. The beginning of your career is where you build the foundation for what you'll eventually become. Start with good habits, keeping everything spotless and organized, ask for help when you need it, stay open-minded, collaborate with your team, learn from every previous job, and always build on your personal skill set. Once everybody knows that you can be trusted to make a $20 one-off part without fail, they'll start trusting you to make the $200 parts, and before you know it, $200,000 seems cheap. So how do you even approach a $50 million part or a $300 million assembly? Well, we started by gathering together a group consisting of our most experienced programmers, machinists, and manufacturing engineers. Together, we discussed everything from fixturing to cutting tools, ambient temperature of the shop to the machines we would use, properties of the material, tool life, you name it. We discussed every single step of the process, and some of that discussion was passionate, but in the end, we agreed upon the best path forward. This discussion was critical to the success of this project because our team had varied experience from many different fields and we were able to take full advantage of what everyone knew how to do best as well as talk through many different ideas and risks before we ever cut a chip. And that was actually a requirement from our customer. We had to submit the entire process for their approval prior to even attempting the part and this even included feed and speed information. Once approved we could not deviate from the original plan. No pressure right? But because we had a plan that was founded in hundreds of years of hands-on experience we executed flawlessly. It really gave us all a huge sense of accomplishment to see the finished assembly and to know that we played a part in making it. Not everyone out there could have done it, especially the first time through. In this trade, your reputation is everything. If you or your shop have a reputation for poor quality, missed deliveries, bad attitudes, you're going to get the work that your reputation deserves. But if you have a reputation for incredible quality, on-time delivery, positivity, the sky really is the limit. And if you make something that you can be proud of every time without compromise, 
People will notice that. And before you know it, you might just find yourself working on the next $100 million plus part. I hope you liked today's video. Tell me about your most nerve wracking part or project in the comments below. Until next time, keep slinging chips of greatness and I'll see you guys again soon.